He is known for his varied experiments in styles of film directing. He's one of the most iconic directors in the Philippines and pioneered the use of computer graphics animation for the local TV advertising industry in 1988. He is none other than Mike De Leon. The Mike De Leon. Welcome to Film Talks and today we are going to break down the top 7 films of Mike De Leon. Number 7. Kung mangarap ka magising. The film is a coming-of-age story of a young college student, Joey, who has lost all sense of direction and meaning in life. The only thing that inspires him is music. Joey meets Anna and she immediately sweeps him off his feet. Soon, a very sweet friendship develops between the two. All of a sudden, Joey's world is turned upside down and his mornings are never the same again. Number 6. Hindi na hati ang langit Hindi na hati ang langit is a comics novel serialized in the pages of Tagalog classics from 1985 to 1986. Hindi na hati ang langit tells the story of Noel Delgado and Melody, step siblings who grew up belligerent to each other. When their parents died, Noel became the legal guardian of Melody. The two should have parted ways when each got married, but still their lives intertwine when Melody gets into the construction business as Noel's business partner. This stirs jealousy and suspicion with their respective spouses. Number 5. Bayaning Third World Bayaning Third World is a film that examines the heroism of Philippine national hero Jose Rizal, particularly on his supposed retraction of his writings against the Roman Catholic Church during the Spanish colonization period in the Philippines. Number 4. Kakaba Kaba the film revolves on two couples who found themselves in conflict with foreign commercial giants that control the Philippine economy, the Japanese and the Chinese. Moreover, it even involved the Catholic Church which has a stranglehold on Philippine society itself. The film reflects on Philippine economy and society being primarily controlled by other forces for their own benefits and become instruments in performing illegal activities. Number 3. Batch 81 Batch 81 is about the lives of seven neophytes that strive to enter a Greek letter fraternity through a difficult hazing process. The entire experience is seen through the eyes of Sid Lucero, one of the neophytes. Number 2. Sister Stella L. Sister Stella Legaspi is a nun who becomes involved in labor strikes after learning of the government's neglect of the poor and working classes. Her sworn duty to fight for the poor becomes complicated when Nick Fajardo, her journalist friend, is tortured and Denjo, a union leader, is kidnapped and killed. Number 1. Kisap Mata The story was written by Nick Joaquin based on a real-life crime story he reported on his book Reportage on Crime entitled The House on Zapote Street in 1968. It was a breakthrough film as it was the first major treatment of incest in Philippine cinema. The movie was both a critical and box office success, establishing De Leon as one of the great directors of the new generation. The movie garnered 10 major awards in FAMAS, was presented in Cannes Director Fortnite, and was adjudged by the Manunuri ng Piliko ng Pilipino as one of the 10 best films of the 1980s. There goes our top 7 Mike De Leon films. Do you have other films in mind that we haven't mentioned in the list? Share it through our comment section below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos and updates. I'm Captain Mike and this is Film Talks. FG Studios.